Cool House Rock, I think it's called. And it had the song for We, we the People. <laughs> <clears throat> I am not going to sing it for you today. I'm sorry. But um, I can definitely recite the preamble. Going to be doing um, for our upcoming unit study is going to be U.S. government. Um, we have not touched on this at all in the entirety of our five years homeschooling, and because the election is coming up, I really wanted to dive into this topic and teach her about our government. So, if that is something that interests you, keep watching. So I have limited resources in front of me to show you, but just know that the unit study that I am going to show you has a ton of options for you to pick from um, in how much you dive into this topic. So we are going with um, the unit study from the Waldock Way. Um, I'm piecing things from her unit uh, to something else that I'm about to show you in a second, but we're not doing the entire unit. Um, <clears throat> I really want to be done with this unit in about seven weeks, six, seven weeks. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to try to do like a topic per week and see how far we get. So we'll be doing this for our first week and the unit study, I don't want to unclip this because, <clears throat> but if you're familiar or not familiar with the Waldock units, she always has a ton of resources to choose from. So she has tons of book options, a YouTube playlist and a <clears throat> craft playlist. Uh, and then there are additional suggestions down below. So, and then of course she has um, like work sheets to go along with it. So day one, we're going to discuss like what is the government and then there's some comprehension questions listed at the bottom. There's some copy work as well. There's it in cursive and in manuscript, which is nice. Um, and then I chose a word search for her to do. And then, so this is for the whole week, not in just one day. I, I just wanna <laughs> clarify that because we are not gonna have um, that much time per day to put into each topic. So <clears throat> I broke this up into three days a week us doing a couple things per day. Um, so when I go on to my homeschool planet, um, I could kind of tell you our roundabout schedule. So I have my handy laptop here. We have for the first, oh, I'm sorry, two, no, three days a week. So we're going to do this on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays. Fridays is usually our free day where we don't school, but I have it there on the off chance that we don't get everything done by Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see. So every day we're going to be reading from a book. Now, a short stack of books and I have more coming from the library, but I'm trying not to order them all at once because I can't keep these books for seven weeks. So um, <clears throat> I'm trying to kind of go with the weeks and the topic that we're on. So in the first week, I think we're going to be diving in to this Osborne Understanding Politics and Government book, which <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know Osborne, you know that these books are filled to the brim with knowledge. So we're going to be mainly focusing on this one. And we also have how the government works. 
And this one is pretty easy read. <clears throat> And we got the weird but true facts on the U.S. government, which these are always really fun to go through. We're obviously not going to read the whole thing, but we're going to pick out some things from the books. <clears throat> and then I'm hoping that we'll read this book. I'm not sure how far I'm going. we're going to get, but for which we stand, how our government works, and why it matters. But this is going to be... <clears throat> what I'm really hoping we get through um, the most because I think it's going to give us the best knowledge. And I'm going to keep kind of this book as we go because it definitely has the other topics in the unit study. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, that is just the set of books that I have to start. Um, so let me, I was going to show you what's in this unit study from the Waldock Way. So it's intro to US government. What is the Declaration of Independence? What is the Constitution? What is the presidential election? What, where is the White House? What is Congress? What is the Supreme Court? There's a game pack and there's a mock election um, in this study. <clears throat> or bundle so that's like nine topics basically now each topic has its own set of book resources has its own YouTube playlist and let me tell you okay when I was putting my schedule together on homeschool planet and typing everything in I was going kind of through the YouTube playlist because I can insert my links <clears throat> from the playlist into my homeschool planet and so I was doing that to simplify my life and I came across um, I don't know if you remember but I do and I can recite it and I posted to my Facebook and like a bunch of my grade school friends responded that they remember it too but we watched school house of schoolhouse rock I think it's called and it had the song for We We the People. <laughs> I am not going to sing it for you today, I'm sorry. But um, I can definitely recite the preamble by singing it because of Schoolhouse Rock. So I'm, I don't know if that was added to her playlist, but I definitely added it to the list of things to watch <laughs> because I will be damned that I'm going to make my kid sing the preamble but I have our entire unit all ready to go for us on the government um, <clears throat> now like I said I didn't choose all of those we are only going to be doing intro to US government the Declaration of Independence Um, what is the Constitution? What is the presidential election? Where is the White House? And that's it. So <clears throat> that's what my intent and plan is to do for the next six, seven at max weeks. Now, I'm going to show you this. I don't believe they sell this anymore. Um, <clears throat> So the only reason why I'm going to show it is because I bought this brand new off eBay and I did see that they had other ones available. So if you can get lucky enough to grab it, you can, but I thought this was really cool. So Learning Reese or Lakeshore Learning, I'm sorry, has this awesome box <laughs> of goodies. Okay, okay. Um, I came across this randomly when I was on eBay searching for probably like U.S. government books. I was trying to find like a bundle because I'm getting all of our like books from the library. Like we, I did not buy a single one of these because I'm trying to save money right now and the likelihood of us maybe going back to it wouldn't be so likely. So <clears throat> anyway. 
So this box came with a lot of fun goodies as well. And I'm gonna kind of pair them with what we're already doing for the unit study. So this is a really cool branch of government, um, whatever you call this, poster. And then there's <clears throat> another poster that has like, oh, there's a lot to this box, so I'm gonna kind of do this very briefly. Um, but here's the activity guide. The activity guide has all of your like directions, activities, vocabulary, um, projects, facts, maps. Um, we're obviously not going to do everything, but I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, there's a writing prompt. Um, I'm going to do it. And she already saw this and is so excited. Um, she's really looking forward to it. So anyway, here's the activity and these go with like whatever activity. So each card has <clears throat> like the U.S. Constitution. So it has the preamble, the articles about it. And then on the inside, it has what the Bill of Rights are and like so forth. And then on the back, it has comprehension questions. Um, so we're going to try to go through each folder and pair it with the unit study. Um, this is state and local governments, federal and state governments, <clears throat> the executive branch, the judicial branch. Again, fun stuff on the inside. And it's not like overwhelming and I love the pictures. The pictures are great. Um, legislative branch, the election process. Um, yeah. So that'll be really fun. <clears throat> Checks and balances. Not sure if we're going to go over that yet. Washington, D.C., <clears throat> where everything is. I would love to take a DC trip. Honestly, I loved going there when I went several years ago. I don't think it's in the cards, but I would love to just like take a weekend and just like take her down. Um, what do you call that? Like museum row <laughs> or whatever they call it. Um, anyway, um, becoming a US citizen. And then it has goodies. Now, I did get this off eBay. It said it was new and not used, or maybe it was used like new, I don't know. So I'm not sure if everything's even in here, but I'm just taking what I can get out of it, okay? So there's like these cards in here, <clears throat> and there's like these presentation. You can like put them on something. I don't know, I haven't dug in the, to this too much, but um, it just has these really fancy. Um, and then these are, um, I did read where this was. I'm not sure if this is a game. It's some kind of word bank or something, but it has just these like note card type things with like the facts listed on them. <clears throat> okay, it's called the National Mall. <laughs> That's funny. It's like the row of everything. Yeah, so it's like these little fact cards, but I'm pretty sure they have to do with an activity um, that's in the activity book. So, <clears throat> excited, 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 and these are great cards. <clears throat> and then there's descriptive writing. So that's cool. Um, I'll give you this one as an example. So it says the president gives speeches describing what's happening in the country and in the world. He talks about his plans for our country's future. Sometimes the president speaks from Rose Garden outside the White House. Many news reporters attend. Imagine you're the president. <clears throat> Describe what you see, hear, smell, and feel as you make a speech from the Rose Garden. And then it has like a word bank that the kids can use or your child, whatever. Um, do we have the right 
writes. These are all um, writing assignments. This is narrative writing, working in the government, informative writing, the branches of government, persuasive writing, a step toward better future, <clears throat> informative writing, becoming a U.S. citizen, addressing the nation. So, um, fun. Then there's this checks and balances, like activity in here, <clears throat> which is like one of these <clears throat> The options are all here. Um, and then lastly, it has all these fun like tools. So there's a stamp in here. There's like a, a judge thing. Um, <clears throat> the stamps say approved. I'll probably need to get a new ink pad. Who knows how old it is. Oh, okay. There's like a wooden stand in here and I'm pretty sure these guys go in here. So you could do tons of things with this. Um, I even have thought <clears throat> there, because in the Waldex um, unit study, there's like a mock election. I thought that could be really fun to do with her friends. Um, so I don't know, we have tons of options here. And because this is literally the first time we're learning about the government, I'm, like I said, I'm taking it super, super slow. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't wanna do anything that's going to overwhelm. Because I'm not sure how much we're going to retain here, but this is kind of the first peak first look of learning about U.S. government. So this is our book that is going to be fun to go alongside the unit study. So that's what we're doing. I'm excited to dive in. She's excited to dive in. Like I said, we have all the books. We have all the YouTube um, videos to watch on days that maybe we don't feel interested in reading the books. Um, and then if we're like, uh, we're over it, we can move on to the next topic. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited uh, to dive into this. Let me know what you're doing for, if you're doing anything for the um, election season and what you're using. I would love to know in the comments below. Also, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and help my channel out. And I will see you in my next video.